Welcome to Perfect Vocals Academy, a source that offers weekly content for audio engineers and recording artists. On this channel, I give you cutting edge vocal mixing and mastering videos. I also offer an online course called the Vocal Mixing Masterclass. You can find the link to this in the description and it's over nine hours of videos going from start to finish to really help you become a better audio engineer. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is uh, the New Waves Magma Springs. I made a YouTube short about this just, just to briefly go over it, but I wanted to make a longer video going over really the power of this plugin, so, and just how many uh, different factors can, can change the reverb you're looking for, so. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna go with each section here. This first section, this drive here is boosting the input of the reverb and getting some harmonic distortion going on, shaving off those peaks, saturating it, making it more of a saturated sounding reverb. This pre-delay is going to delay the input source from going to the reverb. So therefore, say like a vocal can be dry for just maybe 30 milliseconds before the reverb happens. So this this makes it great for like lead vocals. So uh, the vocals don't get pushed too far back. Unless you're going for that, then you might not want it. But uh, most of the time you want the vocal right up front. So pre-delay can help you with that. Uh, this feedback knob controls the headroom and it kind of affects how this drive uh, reacts to the signal. So just play with those two. Uh, you might not need to use it much, but you can uh, play with those to get a nice balance. These here are all spring tanks. So these ones on the left here, Motor City, Twang, 50s, they're very uh, high mid driven mids. It sounds more classic, more, um, more vintage. I found classic up here and California were kind of like nice go-tos as far as an, a vocal reverb at least, but these other ones might be nice for maybe a, a lead guitar or something like that. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop. So I'll show you what you uh, what I mean with these these uh, other tanks here. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop. Yeah, and she be wet like a mop. I shoot my shot, it can get blocked, jack in my drip. Yeah, kind of uh, a, a little much for like a vocal. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop. Yeah, and she be wet like a mop. I shoot my shot, it can get blocked, jack in my that one has a little bit more low mids to it. I like when she buzz it, she make a pop. Yeah. And then we got classic. I like when she buzz it, she make a pop. Yeah. And she be wet like a mop. I shoot my shot, it can get blocked. Jack my drip, do as a. I like when she buzz it, she make a pop. Yeah. And she be wet like a mop. I shoot my shot, it can get blocked. Ah, uh, this one's the smoothest so far to my ears. The California. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah, and she be wet like a mop, I shoot my shot, it can get blocked, jack of my drip, you as a op, everything on me you see as a cop, wanna fuck with me then I need some Yeah, that one's kind of, kind of thick, a little bit muddy to my ears. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah, and she be wet like a mop, I shoot my shot, it can get blocked, jack of my drip, you as a op, everything on me you see as a cop, wanna fuck with me then I need some guap. Yeah, so heavy and dark space might be, I think, more intended for experimental sounds, not so much like a lead vocal. I would say for lead vocals, probably stick with these two, um, unless you're going for something very experimental and trippy, but um, usually you're going to go with those two. And then we have the uh, reverb tail lengths right here. So we have short, medium, and long. Medium is what I had it on. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah. See what short sounds like? I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah. And she be wet like a mop. I shoot my shot, it can get blocked. Yeah, you gotta be careful with these, uh, with the sibilance. You don't wanna hear that sibilance in the reverb. Uh, they have the treble and bass here. So if you're he hearing too much sibilance, try to dial back this treble. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah. And she be wet like a mop. I shoot my shot, it can get blocked. Jack of my drip, you as a op. Everything on me, you see as a cop. Wanna fuck with me, then I need some guap. Yeah, the short's not too bad. I mean, I, I think I preferred the medium 
for like a lead vocal like this, this style, but the short could definitely work. Uh, let's go to long really quick. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah. And she be wet like a mop. I shoot my shot, it can get blocked. Jack my trip, you as a op. Everything on me, you see. So I've noticed that there's a ton of treble in these reverbs. So, you know, so far I keep bringing this treble back. I haven't really been boosting it because it, it gets to be too much. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah. And she be wet like a mop. I shoot my shot, it can get blocked. Jack in my drip, you as a op. Everything on me, you see as a cop. Yeah, and the long is a little long. It, like I said, that might be, might be more of an experimental thing too or, you know, an ambient instrument or something like that. I, I bet this works great for instruments. I've only really tried it on a vocal so far, but... Some of these would probably be really cool and experimental for instruments, but for vocals, those two with probably a medium or short tail length. Bass, I always like to kind of dial back to. You don't normally like too much bass in your reverb. Let's hear how much bass is really there. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah. And she be wet like a mop. I shoot my shot, it can get blocked. Yeah, I mean, we could always turn down the reverb if we like that thickness and just see... You know if that fits. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah. And she be wet like a mop. I shoot my shot, it can get blocked. Jack in my drip, you as a op. Everything on me, you see as a cop. Wanna fuck with me then? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. If you wanted to mess with that. Uh, still think I like the treble and bass down quite a bit. And then output back up. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah. Just to where that mid-range is kind of grabbing you a little bit. You don't normally want the low end in the reverb like that definitely don't want that high end with the sibilance because it that sounds very distracting to hear the sibilance like that and then also i think what's doing that is the pre-delay if we had the pre-delay on zero maybe this sibilance wouldn't be as bad still kind of bad but I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah And she be wet like a mop I shoot my shot, it can get blocked Jack in my drip, you as a op Everything on me, you see as a cop Wanna fuck with me, then I need some guap I make a play, just trust me to rock I said it Okay, then we have the stereo mono switch So, I'm a fan of stereo reverbs I think they just fill out the spectrum more But if you didn't want it to be stereo You could switch it to mono I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah that kind of puts the reverb like behind the vocal, not not to the sides at all. It's very mono. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah. And she be wet like a mop. I shoot my shot. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the stereo. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah. And she be wet like a mop. I shoot my shot. It can get blocked. Jack in my drip. You as a op. Yeah, and what we could do too, since this, uh, what we could do is if this reverb kind of has a lot of sibilance we can always add a de -er before the reverb right on the uh, effects chain I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop yeah. and she be wet like a mop I shoot my shot it can get blocked jack in my drip you as a op everything on me you see as a cop wanna fuck with me then I need some guap I make a play just pass me the rock I set the trend I'm leading the flock yeah, and, you know, I could always de DS the vocal more, too. I don't even think I put a ds -er on the vocal for this video. I just kind of did a quick little chain there. But this reverb overall, I, I would say they did a really good job on it. It has a really nice sounding mid-range to it. And that's what I think some cheaper reverbs really miss, is they miss that nice sounding mid-range. Uh, a lot of times it's just cheaper reverbs, or I would say stock reverbs, like Pro Tools, will have, like, a lot of high end, not much good sounding mid range, and then a bunch of low end that you have to carve off. This makes it easy to dial back that low end, dial back the high end, and get that mid range sitting right where you want it. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah, and she be wet like a mop. I shoot my shot, it can get blocked. Jack in my drip, you as a op. Everything on me, you see as a cop. Wanna fuck with me, then I need some guap. I make a play, just pass me the rock. Here's without the reverb. I like when she buzz it cause she make a pop, yeah. And she be wet like a mop. I shoot my shot, it can get blocked. Jack in my drip, you as a op. Everything on me, you see as a cop. Wanna fuck with me, then I need some guap. I make a... 
Cool. Yeah, so that's the new, brand new, just released Waves Magma Springs. So if you like these spring reverbs, you want to add it to your collection of plugins, go down to the description and click my affiliate link. That's going to send you over to Waves website. If you buy that within seven days of clicking that link, it helps the channel. Hope you guys like this video. Subscribe, and uh, I will see you on the next one.